Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today is yet another day for RTA and we're gonna have some fun because we, we've been enjoying the crap out of Shuna and we're gonna spam her. We may even first pick her but I'm not sure. Uh, I just know that I want to keep using her. I want to see where she shines and who she's good against and what she's uh, bad against. Either way, uh, should be really fun because I really am enjoying her. She's a really really cool unit. Uh, I just had the perfect gear for her so that's the type of unit. For example, my my, mil my Milim kind of came from that situation. I just had the gear, uh, and that's it. I just had the gear. <laughs> and sometimes when you have the gear, you have it all. all right, we ML can first pick because we, we have to. It's kind of a thing, our portrait is uh, ML can. We kind of have to first pick ML can. Even though there's a billion counters to ML can, we don't really bind. It's all good. All right. And this is where the double cleansers come up and where we have some phone. Some good old phony phone. Alright, what's the second pick? I'm not sure. This man's already cracking out the big guns. Ooh. I do like the, I, I do like an Armin pit pick. I think it's nice. I also think this is nice. Um not sure what type of double debuff I want to go for. But I definitely want to go for immunity. So I think I'm gonna go for the the good old Kawari kit. Kawari kit. There's a low chance that uh Shuna gets banned, especially with Karik as a as a cleanser. I, I highly doubt that would happen. So let's just see how it goes. I do like the Carmen pick because uh, she's fun. She's fun, and I'm pretty sure MLK is great against her because she just AOE's a weasel, lot, right? And she does try to stun, but people never really have like super high effectiveness on her. So that's kind of a cool thing. DN, DN, DN. Maybe an opposite pick would be nice. Oh, damn. I might have to bring out the big, big guns. Because against that, I kind of have to go Arya. And against the rest, I could go with a Remy boy. But I feel like I want a bit of a... I want a bit of a solo carry unit. Someone that can really do work. And I feel like... I mean, Kawaza could pop off. Is there any shielding like super early? I don't think there is any shielding super early. But I do think I also need the disruptor because I, I kind of need to make him not ban my DPSs. And putting this unit up will really screw them up, right? Because if I take first turn, just nothing happens on their end. So this is pretty good. Let's see how let's see how it goes. But I think overall we have a good draft. We have two major DPS units, two cleansers, one disruptor. I think it's a good it's a good pick. I think it's a good pick. And I do get rid of the Milim. I think Milim is a bit too much, and the rest of the units I think I don't care about. So let's just go for that. I think we should be mostly okay here. I think running a defense buff for Witch Shuna would be great, but we'll see how it goes. So priority here is gonna be on Shuna, and I don't think I'm gonna S3 unless uh, he actually goes for S3, you know, on this first turn. Which he might, and I might just do that myself too. He goes for S3. Shuna should be able to resist this. No problemo. No problemo. Very nice. Gucci Ducci. Even though we're gonna get... Uh, I wonder if the defense... I wonder if, I, if the shields I get will be enough to get my boy out of trouble. Honestly, that was a pretty good dual attack. Overall, his dual attacks would have been like good overall. But this one was a good one because uh, it's just full setup, right? But I guess I do want to take some damage before Shuna takes a turn. Oh, but he doesn't go for the push. Which is okay, I think. I think it's okay. I don't want to give CR to the um, to the girl, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna S1. I'm gonna take a, a, a little bit riskier now. Because I do have this boy as a DPS and he will strip her and I'll put barriers up and it's gonna be a bit a bit better. We have barriers. Highest attack is Amelkan. He's unstoppable. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. So we lose one of our DPSs, but I think that's actually okay. I think the trade-off's fine. Because he has to go for the uh, for the Amelkan. And that's the decision he has to make, right? That's the problem. Because he has to kill him, right? Exactly. He has to kill him. So Amelkan's out of the game, but my setup's pretty good. My setup is actually pretty good. 
because he, he's forced to hit uh, the uh, the Arya uh, like quite a bit of times, right? There there are two Earth units there, but either way, as long as we get immunity up, we still have well a secondary DPS, right? Secondary DPS is gonna do work. Dual attack, which is good. Double stacks. I mean, not actually doesn't. That's not how it works. <laughs> that's actually not how it works. I could be stunned here, right? But I can still cleanse, and my cleanser is about to come up, so it's actually fine. But I think he's gonna go for S3. Yeah, I think so at least. So I don't. I don't have to cleanse on this turn. I can. I can just do it on the next one, even though. Even though getting the focus is nice, I think I'm going to still hold up to it. I'm going to hold up. Because remember, once, once, once Shuna gets her turn, it's going to be pretty decent. It's going to be pretty nice. As long as we farm some souls, we should be mostly Gucci here. I am a little bit worried about the, the soul farm. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to do enough of it. But we'll see, right? She's going to have that provoke, but I'm okay with it. The Provoke really doesn't do much because I'm about to cleanse an S3, right? So, that's fine. I just don't like that she's about to get a S3 in two turns. That's going to be slightly problematic. Uh, but other than that, as long as we get our immunity up uh, from uh, Carrot right here, we should be mostly okay. The main thing that's going to make this fight a little easier is killing the Seal Elias, so... We should be okay in a bit, right? Because this is going to give me 50% 50 CR plus speed buff, so I'll be able to S1 for some damage, right? I'm okay with this because uh, HP uh, redistribution is going to be pretty handy in a bit. And I think I'm going to cast it now for the shields, right? Mostly because I want to extend shields, I want to put big shields on. There it is. And now we just kill this, which is the main worry I have. Pretty good. Right? Nothing can really kill me right now. Now we go for S3. And uh, and then we just play the sleep the sleep tactics. It's not like Arya is great against sleep because she just hits two people at all times, right? Is she... Okay, she has everything up. So probably shield first because she doesn't want to die. And she wants to push her team. But we do have Soul Burn now. So we're going to be perma, perma stealthed up. So I think we're... Good. As long as we keep up the immunity, uh, we shouldn't be able to be stunned, right? Okay, we're gonna burn. And then we're gonna S3. And then she's gonna go off, but she's always gonna go off on me. Oh, actually she didn't go off. Putting barrier up, I don't think it's worth it right now. I mean, I do have extra damage, so might as well. Might as well go for the... I, I'm, I'm really just not worried about that... Uh, about that uh, Celine, right? Time to S3. A lot of flowers and... Well, just strips. <laughs> Unluckily, just strips. But we're about to S3, so we're fine. We're pretty tanky. This doesn't really bother us. Our defense is pretty high. Our HP is pretty decent. And our healing, even though we're, we're hitting Earth units, it should be su sufficient. 50-50 mischance. And we're Gooch. Another counter counter. Ooh. Right. I need to put immunity up though. It is it is a priority that I can't do right now. So this is gonna be a little iffy for, for the Arya, because this is gonna hurt a little bit. We should be able to still survive this. It's just that we're not critting, so we're not healing enough, right? Ooh, we changed his targets. Not sure that's the better play, but, you know, we're fine with it. Okay. She only she can only has one for now, so we're good. Our cleanse is about to come up as well, so even if we do get stunned, we should be okay. There we go. We go for this. I mean, this one's being pretty direct out, but... That's mostly because he hasn't realized that... Oh, maybe maybe he has realized something. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, we're fine, but we're not 
Like, we're fine now, but we're not really super, like, it's not the easiest thing ever. Because we're fine. We're definitely fine, because we're going to kill this, right? But that wasn't the easiest thing ever. Uh, I don't think I need to soul burn. I also don't think I have stress 3. Only if she goes like S3, I'll do that. Yeah, but in the end, like, as long as you have immunity, we're not going to really die to this. It's just a matter of hitting it. It's just a very long match. Just realizing it now. Very long match. Now we strip this, that's why we're within S3. Because we can just strip this. Like, with this frenzy and with the amount of effect effectiveness we have, this is 100% chance to land. There it is. 100% chance to land. We're just not sleeping anyone. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess I can just get a bunch of focus right now, right? Might as well get a bunch of focus. Shields and all the good stuffs. Might as well go for the big setup damage. Get attack buff, get speed buff, get that, get that pure white trust proc. And he finally gives up after... Well, he already lost like a billion times before. Either way, we're moving on. On to the next one. All right, here we go. Next opponent. Maybe we skip this draft because that first one was pretty long. I just want to see some more action. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll skip the, the draft on this one and I'll make it fast. All right, here we go. Here's the draft. I had to ban that boy. And even though I didn't want to ban the boy because, well, unfortunately, <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to be stripped. And uh, he's the only one that really adds that per persistence strip. As long as I clutter my um, my buff bar, uh, Bellion is not really going to be the most reliable stri uh, stripper, right? So we're going to be okay there, but overall, not very fun. Alright, we did outspeed everyone there, which is not great. But it is great against the Huayang, right? It is good against the Huayang, because now Huayang is forced to go into the Arya, Arya is just going to get free stacks, and, uh, and then that's that. Alright, she's forced to S3 or S1, if she S1 she might never S3, so they always go S3. They never really not go S3, so should be funsies. Alright, good damage, buddy. <laughs> I'm worried about the Landy though, because Landy is going to unstealth everybody pretty fast, right? So I am worried about that, but we'll see. Ooh, another counter into an S3. A bonk. This one is going to hit really hard. <laughs> this one's going to hit pretty hard. Oh, damn. I pushed everybody back. Damn. That's not bad. I do have a couple unstealth units at this point, which is not great. Which kind of makes me think my ML Ken's gonna die. But I, I think with Stanny alive, I don't think he wants to go for that. But we'll see. Actually, still in stealth. Ooh, that's what? He cray cray. This boy cray cray, I don't know what to say. This boy kind of cray cray. He does have speed buff, so Landy does provide that. Which is honestly mostly what's gonna happen here, right? It's gonna be that speed buff. Other than the speed buff. Ooh, okay, that Stenny is dead, so I think we're going to have a pretty decent time here. Alrighty, guess that's that. That was, that was actually pretty good that he didn't get to unstealth my two units. That's actually pretty important. Because uh, MLK is just going to ravage through this, right? MLK is just going to go... Duk, 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 poof, and then poop. There it is. Bonk. Ooh, a fat stunny. Ooh, a fat country. And bu 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 and then Uberius. Bonk. <laughs> Not that Uberius was really necessary there, but there it is. Damage uh, HP redistribution. And that's it. That's it. We got a running Raz as well. <laughs> and the connection error, but that's all fine and all dandy. So let's do one last match and we should be mostly okay. Yes, we're gold. Haha, <laughs> great. Alright, here we go, next opponent, let's just see his first pick, and then we're most likely going to skip that. But this one, actually, it's from a good guild, so we might have a good time here, so we'll see. Here we go, here's our draft, and we're most likely going to go for the ram ban, because uh, the stripping, again, is a problem. Even though the uncontrollable is a little bit of a problem as well, uh, it's much worse to have, uh, <laughs> to have a unit just strip you, put on buff, uh, unhealable on. And, and trust me, Unhealable is a, like very bad on this team, so we'll see. So we have one cleanse setup and three bruisers, so 
This is actually not the most optimum setup, but we should be mostly okay as long as we uh, get the heals and cleanse off. Alright. Buffs are landing accordingly. Nope. Nice try, but it is an ER unit, so not the easiest one to go for. Invincible goes up, which is fine, uh, because there's no immunity buff. As long as we can get the defense breaks off, we should be mostly okay here. He's most likely going to go for defense buff. Doesn't go for defense buff. Okay. I'm okay with it. I'm going to cleanse up. And I'm going to stealth up. Which is honestly going to be a little bit iffy. Because even though these units are a little bit tanky, uh, it's still going to be iffy. Alright, we do get a free stack here, which is nice. Alright, she's going to S3. As long as we keep most of our stealth, we should be okay. But uh, if ML can get some stealth, which is very likely, he might just get wrecked by that backline unit, right? Everyone got in stealth. He hit the Violet, which is, well, just something fun, right? He hit the Violet, it is something fun. So we can't really, we can't do anything about that, right? Oh, wow, Dust Devil again. Wow, <laughs> great. But that's actually fine. We're okay with it. Our boy is pretty tanky. So let's chip away at this, at this landing, because the landing is like the biggest problem. There it is. Everything equalized. He can be mad, but he hit a bunch of my units. Got them all in stealth, and I'm okay with it. It hits me again, so we can't be mad. He cannot be mad, we cannot be mad, and we're okay, we're like, we're okay with it. I am not going to burn, because that's most likely going to kill me, so I'm just going to go for the smarter play, let's say. Right? Let's go for the smarter play. Righty. I am a little bit locked in, though, right? Good. At least something's happening like this, right? That shield, though. <laughs> he really wants to get that violet out, right? Thing is, like, he's actually wasting a lot of resources trying to get the violet when, let's be honest, it's not the biggest problem. His biggest problem is most likely not violet. But that shield's pretty goddamn insane. Like, the ARAS buff was pretty good. Yeah, it is a no crit boy. Haha, -ha, you're right. Yeah, but the moment I S1 here, I should be okay. Yeah. Bonk, bonk. And now. Ooh, please don't have S3. Okay, it doesn't. This is why you have an uber tanky violet. And this is why an uber tanky violet is extremely valuable. Ooh, I didn't intend for that to happen, but hopefully not enough healing. And he wasn't, so. Now he has three, now we do heal enough and we kill everything, and he quits because he's from a good guild, so there's no way he's gonna just gonna try to ARAS solo, so that's it. I'm gonna burn for style points, actually. Nah, can't burn for style points, but pretty successful video. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna use Shuna a lot. She's pretty fun, she works well on my team, provides protection, provides cleanse, provides a bunch of things. She's just a really versatile unit for my, uh, um, like my type of comps, and uh, she's fun. Uh, too bad she's still not super molded, so when she's fully molded in S3, she'll have an 85% chance to land the sleeps. Right now, she's not molded at all there, so uh, she's, like, missing a lot of chance, uh, to say the least. But either way, she's fun. I'm having fun, so hope you, hopefully you're having fun too. If you did like this video, please leave a like. It does help uh, the video get pushed out and more people see it. And, uh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you feel like this video deserves to get out there, uh, please leave a like and a comment, and that, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.